Hey everybody, this is Bill at Herptiles, Herptological. Um, yeah, right, Rosie Bow on a hook. Yeah, it's a really weird sight, but this girl is, uh, she's very special. She bites me 100% of the time that I handle her without the hook. She's just a very voracious eater, and she thinks all 10 of my fingers and my face, if I let her get close enough, she thinks all my fingers are food. But this is a close-up of her. This is Squiggy. I adopted her from a friend who was getting married and um, kind of outgrown the snake phase, but she is about eight years old. She's an eight-year-old year rosy boa. Unknown locale. Um, I think she's a whitewater. That's what I've been told by a few experienced uh, um, and very reputable pet store folk in San Diego. I've, I've been told that she's a whitewater, but um, she doesn't have that dark purple-ish background that I've seen in a lot of whitewaters. Um, but she's very pretty. She's my first Rosa, Ro um, sorry, my first Rosie Boa. I've actually not had any other snake species other than ball pythons and, and blood pythons, so it's really different to have a boa, a boaid species. Now, this is the, so this is just a, she was a, an adopted animal. And let me show you the, my first purchase. Um, This guy's actually pretty nice. Um, if you look back at my unboxing video, that was about one year, one year ago. He's never bitten me at all, but he's always uh, kind of checked out my hands. And, and the girl doesn't really strike and bite me out of uh, um, aggression or even def a defensive bite. She'll uh, chomp into me because she thinks I'm food. This is my male head albino. As you can see, he's a bit smaller than she is. Um, I have him in a temporary enclosure right now. I'm getting ready to move them up to Fresno. But, um, yeah, the first two rosies here at Herptiles Herptological. Um, you know, hopefully the first two of many um, I really do like these guys. I want to get into breeding them in the future, and this will kind of be like a, a side project to um, you know my passion for blood pythons, and I, I may be picking up a few uh, ball pythons in the future as well. But uh, this is my mail that I got last year at about this time from um, Outback Reptile. He is a very cute guy, very nice and docile, what you expect a rosy boa to be. Um, and he is a hell by no unknown locale. And I'm going to get a close up of him while I turn this off. 